Welcome back to my house in Cedarville, Kansas. I was just in the middle of watching John Wick Chapter 2, and this is going to be an exciting day after all. I just got a, a couple of packages from UPS delivered from American Muscle that I ordered. I was actually hoping to get more than two boxes, but that's okay. I have a feeling I know what's in them, and I have more on the way. Let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, this first box says Ford Performance on it. I wonder what that could be. And the second bigger box. It's upside down, but it says Roush. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos having to do with my 2012 Mustang GT Premium, you know I've already got Roush axle backs on it, but you may have also noticed a little rattle in the exhaust. Well, after further investigation, it turns out that there is a uh, baffle or something that's broken loose inside the left muffler. So, it is what it is. I had to uh, order new Roush axle backs. I decided to stick with the Roush because I really like the way that it sounds. But, while I was at it, decided to get something else. Get a peek what it might be. Ooh. Let's just go ahead and tear into this box. If I can do this with one hand. Aha! It is open. Ooh! Some more exhaust. Let's check this out. Okay, I'm going to have to use both hands to pull that out. Nice. There it is. Ford Performance X pipe. That's going to replace the uh, stock H pipe that's already on the car. So. See if I can get this back down in here. Slide this out of the way. And I'm going to start cutting this box open. Okay, all I did there was just cut those straps. My good old trusty pocket knife. And that is legal in Kansas, by the way. Okay, let's see here. Oh. Aha! There it is. Nice. Now I did not install the Roush axle backs on the car. They were already on the car when I got it. And uh, they're looking pretty rough. So I don't know how long that uh, those Roush axle backs were installed before I got the car. But anyway, this is what comes in the box. This would be my first time to do it. Got our instructions. We have two mufflers, a bag of clamps, and two other boxes. And in the uh, those other two boxes are the tips. Nice. Roush. I'm loving it. And as you can see, there's still a bit of snow on the ground. It's melting. 
but it's 37 degrees right now outside which means that I am going to wait a couple of days for the weather to improve at least make it tolerable to go outside and do some work so I will continue to make some video clips of this new exhaust installation stand by so it's the next day now and I am currently uh, on my way home I'm on my way home from from the muffler shop I decided not to do it myself I certainly wanted to just you know to, for no other reason than to save an extra hundred and fifty dollars but I elected to uh, take it to the muffler shop and have them do the work the reason why well, let's face it, I'm a big man. I ain't gonna lie about it. I'm not gonna try to cover it up. It's, it's the truth. And uh, even, even with putting this car up on jack stands, I'm just not skinny enough <laughs> to uh, crawl up underneath this car and uh, do the work myself. So, that is uh, the only mod that uh, is going to be done to this car that I will not do myself. Everything else I'm going to do, do for myself, and there's really no reason why I can't. But I did get the, uh, the uh, Ford Performance X-Pipe installed, and I got the new... Roush axle backs installed and got the uh, stock H pipe and the old Roush axle backs in the trunk. And in the next uh, video clip, I'll show those parts. Uh, but man, they are nasty. Driving it, it's not any louder. You know, I thought that the X pipe would. Uh, would make the exhaust louder. If anything, loudness-wise, it actually sounds a little bit quieter. Maybe it's the uh, the new Roush mufflers. I don't know. It still sounds awesome. I just love the way that it sounds. But uh, as far as the sound goes, it does sound quieter. But driving it, I don't know, maybe it's just a, a placebo effect, or, you know, maybe I'm just uh, blazing some really good 420, I don't know, but I will say this, this car with the X-pipe on it, it feels, it really feels like it's accelerating easier. You know, I'm not saying that before it had a problem with get up and go, because it certainly does not have any problem with getting up and going. But with uh, after uh, taking the stock H-pipe off and putting the Ford Performance X-pipe on it, it feels stronger on the acceleration, which certainly is not a gripe. You know, if it really is getting up and going faster than what it was before, I am not complaining one bit. It's just uh, an observation. Like I said, I don't know if that really is the case. That, in fact, the uh, engine is able to pull a little bit harder now with uh, less restriction on the exhaust. Or if it's just a placebo effect that, uh, hey, I have a new component installed. just a placebo and it's just a, a mental game you know why it's got a new part so I think it's pulling harder I don't know what do you think uh, is there really that big of a difference between an X pipe and an H pipe what do you think uh, 
maybe leave a comment below what you think about that. But anyway, in the next clip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show the condition of the old Roush axle backs and the condition of the uh, stock H pipe that was removed. And I am also going to give a before and after on the sound so that we can in fact hear a difference that there there's nothing rattling around in the exhaust now. It just sounds so awesome. I'm so happy about it. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, there's the left side new exhaust tip for the Roush. And the right side looks just like the left. But here are the old parts. And as you can see, they are looking pretty nasty. That's the original stock H-pipe that was installed. There's two clamps there. Let me get down here. This is the right side. The only part of it that has any kind of shine at all is just the top of the tip there. on the bottom side again it says Roush I don't know it's just it's nasty I'm glad I did it the old H pipe is just pretty crusty <laughs> there it is and next we'll get the before and after okay here comes the before comes the after. So that is all for this video. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, leave a comment below. I don't know about you, but the stain feels better.